Good day everyone. I'm Anton G by name doesn't change. Anton G on the code. Charlie, today I want to play some beats about Yoruba Orishas. Actually, our topic for today is going to be on Shango and Eshu. And I would like to tell you some mysteries about the, this beat, how it comes up. And uh, we're going to talk about Shango first and we're going to play the beat. Actually, Songo was happened to be uh, a lot of fame or, or your empire then, and he was a very powerful creator, a very powerful king in Yoruba land. And he loves to go to war, so whenever he's going to war, he loves to hear some song, some sound that will motivate him in war. So he decided one day, he decided to call some dr uh, drummers and various drums around him. So he called Kosho. He called Shekere, he called Aro, he called Dondon, he called Gongon, he called Bata, all the drums around him, he called them. So he decided to call them forward to be playing their beats and see which one will motivate him at war or to go to war. Actually, it's only Bata that I derived to suit him. Why going to war? So that's the reason why Bata is basically for Shongu. Though now, we play it everywhere, anywhere around the world. But basically, it's for Shango. So he loves to hear some hard beats with a very hard songs too. So now I'm gonna give you some beats about Shango. Now listen. As you're listening, please watch, enjoy, share, and comment. Thanks a lot.
not see that that was so fantastic and kind of a hard hit you know so it's just to motivate some goal whenever he has this then it was happened to be a very powerful lap in the end now i'm gonna give you all about a shoe but actually the shoe is orisha the yoruba religion or among yoruba people and even across the world there are some countries that have issues too as a Risha. Yeah, but now they call different names a shoe, a shoe, and a shoe in Yoruba land. Though we have them across the country, but the beliefs still remain similar. Yeah. But actually, the beat for a shoe, he has a particular beat. A shoe is for all the Orisha. Whenever we are paying homage or making sacrifice to all the Orisha, it should used to uh, eat from the sacrifice. It's compulsory. It's compulsory. There is one uh, proverb that says. So that's the mystery behind a shoe. And the meaning is, oh, I'm sorry for those of you that doesn't understand Yoruba. That proverb means, that is, take my home to me at home. Bring, bring to me at home. Eva doesn't collect, sacrifice, and forget or neglect a shoe. So he has to give his, his, his own part. So that's just the proverb all about. Emote mi ba mi ni le ifaki beran beran kogba besu. Emote mi ba mi ni le. So we are going to play some beats for the shoe. There is a particular beat when they are carrying sacrifice to a shoe. Because when they make sacrifice for offerings, they used to take it to um a shoe. So along the going to make the to take the sacrifice to a shoe, they used to play this beat. That's for carrying sacrifice for a shoe. So, whenever they are taking sacrifice to a shoe. Now, um, I'm gonna play some basic beats for a shoe because that's his own beat. Yeah, so we're gonna play. 